Okay, I tried to do this on my laptop, didn't work. I was going to type this story, but I just got to tell you because it doesn't come through unless you hear Pat Burleson in it. So Pat Burleson's a Texan. He's a, He was a boxer, military guy, total badass. And he was the first United States karate champ, like in, uh, of course, my brother Bobby's sending text. 1966. So when Bruce Lee came over to America, back in those days, it was uh, under Korean Taekwondo culture. They all had these big award things. And this was in Long Beach, California, when Bruce Lee came for the big tournament to do his demo and all that. And they're all sitting there in their suits and ties and around tables like a banquet. And uh, Bruce Lee comes in and Pat Burleson said when he came in the room, it was like Elvis showed up, you know. And this, nobody knew him yet. He just had that personality. But they, they knew about him coming. They'd heard about him. So Bruce Lee comes in. First thing he says is, where's the cowboy? I want the cowboy. And uh, everybody kind of says, points at Pat because Pat was the champ says, champ, it's going to be me and you tonight, me and you. We're going to settle this. And Pat Burleson's like in his suit and tie and everything, and he looks around and goes, he's talking to himself. He's going, that little China man in trouble. I'm going to break him in half, you know. So Bruce Lee comes over and introduces himself, and he's just like happy-go-lucky and bouncing around. And Pat's just eating his dinner watching him. Bruce Lee goes to every table. He's just never sits still, hyper all the time. And then after they all have their dinner and they're, doing their little talks and stuff. Bruce Lee gets up there and says, move this table, move the table. And he says, uh, come up here, cowboy. And, and Pat Burleson's like, he's ready to thump him. He's like, you ain't come to my town, my country, and do this stuff. And Pat, like in those days, he beat Chuck Norris. He beat everybody. Harrison, he was just bad to the bone. And about 220, all muscle. Bruce Lee gets him up there, and they move the table, and he says, says we're going to wrestle. And Bruce Lee's like 140 pounds. And Pat Burleson's like, okay, I'm ready. And he's he's taking his jacket off and everything. And then and then he's, Bruce Lee goes, arm, we got to arm wrestle. And Pat's still like, okay, I'll whoop you any way you want to play, China boy. And uh, then he says, uh, he's looking around for the table, you know, sit down and arm wrestle. And then he says, uh, we're going to Chinese arm wrestling. And he reaches out and he says, he hooks his thumb, and he says, then when he grabs him, he can feel Bruce Lee's grip. He says his forearm just coils up like a cobra, you know. And he sees all those muscles, and he's thinking, I don't know what's going to happen here. And then he says, now, you know, you tried to throw me that way. I throw you this way. Ready, go. And then he said Bruce Lee took him and just turned him every which way but loose and threw him around like a pair of nunchucks on the floor, back and forth, just laughing and just off balance him, took him down, threw him around, just crazily and made him look goofy and they they were best friends ever since and uh, it was Bruce Bob Wall Chuck Norris they were all the the tight and Pat Burleson and then Joe Lewis so uh but interesting another thing about Pat Burleson Bruce Lee when Bruce Lee passed away Pat got a letter from him from uh Rome uh he had written Pat a letter and then Pat got it after Bruce died and then there's another thing where Mr. Harrison died. He left Mr. Pat Burleson a uh, long voicemail, and Pat didn't get it till after Mr. Harrison died. And uh, so he's always been like the really cool guy. Everybody loves him. Easy going, you know, just kind of like the old plodding, cool, slow burn cowboy guy. You know, just chill. And then get in the ring and just total badass. So everybody loves him. So he and, he and Alan Seen are kind of like the godfathers of American karate. Okay, so next story, Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis was just a stud athlete in anything. So he was a bodybuilding guy, good looking, wanted to do movies, all that. Uh, he actually turned down being in a movie with Bruce Lee because in the movie, the script, Joe was going to lose. And Joe's like, I never lose. I ain't even going to pretend. You know, he's just cocky. And uh, he had uh, started winning the tournaments. In fact, the big 67 Long Beach, it came down to Joe Lewis won it. And, uh, you know, the first one, the first big championship, like 65 or something, uh, or six, Burleson won 64 or five, then Chuck Norris won. 
And when like Chuck Norris had to fight eight fights to to become the champ, they had like so many people at these internationals. They brought black belts from all over, and so it was a big deal. Uh, in '67, I think it was when Bruce Lee did his bigger, you know, one inch punch and all that. They had uh, fought four divisions. Jim Harrison won lightweight. Chuck Norris won middleweight. Howard Jackson won uh, lightweight. And Jim Harrison won light heavyweight. Joe Lewis won heavyweight. And it came down to, uh, in the semifinals, Harrison fought Lewis. And uh, Lewis had just been beating everybody. He was really smart, boxing, footwork, everything. Just super fast sidekick. And Joe Lewis had, uh, but he was cocky. He was a jerk. And uh, he didn't, you know, he didn't even register that he was. He just was too cool. And Harrison just says, Joe, Joe was mouthing off, and Harrison says, I'm going to put a big lump right on your head and uh, teach you a lesson. And Harrison did. He dropped him. There's a picture of Harrison over Her Lewis. He dropped Lewis, and then he's getting ready to stomp on him, and they're grabbing him and pulling him back. So he was the only one to ever take Lewis off his feet. But Lewis won that fight, and then Lewis won the championship against Chuck or whoever. Yeah, I think it's Chuck. So he's the champ, and he's hanging around Pat Burleson, and Pat Burleson's like everybody's favorite godfather, grandfather to this day. He's like the most beloved. Everybody loves him. And Joe's hanging out with him. And the reason I had it, I, we did this interview, I wish I could find it, with a, a, guy, a magazine from Australia and their video. And, and I'm in there with him, Pat Burleson, and they're uh, interviewing about his friendship with Joe Lewis because he was always friends with him. And this is the story. It's Joe Lewis' story. They... They're hanging out, and uh, Joe Lewis says, Pat, you got to tell me something. Pat's like, sure, Joe. He says, well, you know, I'm the world champ. I'm the national champ. You're a national champ. But you have all kinds of friends, and everybody loves you. And you get along with everybody. Why are you so popular? And I'm national champ, too. Nobody likes me. And Pat goes, well, Joe... Because you're a prick, Joe. <laughs> and he just thrilled. <laughs> and he said, he tells his story. It's so funny what he tells. But he says, you know, Joe really took that to heart and tried to learn how to be more of a, be a good friend and uh, listen to people. Like, Pat was just told him straight out, you're a prick, Joe. Nobody likes you. And you don't listen. You know, you know, all this. So he, he had to learn life skills because he was a Marine. He was just badass. And, uh. You know, it was pretty funny because Pat schooled him and uh, they were lifelong friends. And that's kind of the cool thing about all these guys are still, old, all these old guys are still buddies. And, you know, a lot of them are going away, but it's kind of cool. They have a big thing in Texas every year I go to and see them. So uh, if I can find that video, I'll send it. But I thought I'd tell you that story because those are all cool guys. And uh, don't even ask about Mike Stone. He's, he was the wild man. He won them all and he's the one that took. Elvis Presley's wife and all that. He came right after that, but it was, that was the days, man. See ya.